Okay, here is another regular expressions video, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a back reference in a regular expression. So this is going to make use of capturing groups, which I covered in the previous video, but what I didn't do in the previous video is I only showed you how to use a capturing group in a find and replace operation where the syntax is dollar sign one for referring to group number one. But what if I want to refer to group number one in the regular expression itself? <laughs> in this case, I use backslash one. So a classic scenario for this, which is uh, taken from uh, Jeffrey Friedel's Mastering Regular Expressions book, which I highly recommend, is searching for double words. What I mean by that is, oh, is, is appears twice in a row. Double, double appears twice in a row. Not, not appears twice in a row. Why, why? What if I want to search any time two words appear in a row? So let's figure out how I would do this. So first I can look for um, just any sequence of you know, one or more word characters in a row. And you can see I've matched all of the words. Now I could capture that. Right? I could say one or more word characters in a row followed by what? Some sort of white space. Right? Backslash S. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to zoom in here to try to help you see it better backslash s, followed by what? Backslash 1. Look at this. I'm saying match any number of word characters in a row, followed by, and capture it as group 1, followed by a space. And hey, the thing that you captured as group 1, not any word characters in a row, the specific actual sequence of word characters, you um, match that again. So look at this. It, it doesn't get you two words in a row, right? You're no, I'm not matching some text or somewhere or M typing. I'm only matching when the, the exact same word is followed by the exact same word. Rainbow, rainbow, unicorn, unicorn, not, not, double, double. Now, there is some weird stuff going on here. For example, look here. It matched is, is with this is, and it matched s, sum with s and s. So one thing I need to do here is have word boundaries at pl uh, as part of this as well. So for example, if I say, OK, well, there's got to be a word boundary here. And then there's also got to be a word boundary here. Then now I'm only getting is, is, text, text, double, double, not, not, rainbow, rainbow, unicorn, unicorn. Now notice again, this is how regular expressions work. It matched I, I, but didn't match this I, I. And again, there's some ways around that, which you know, I'll leave that for another time. But you can see this is a very powerful thing that you can do, that you can actually refer to something that was matched in a regular expression by using backslash one. And this sort of double words exercise, a double words example, I think, is a good one to look at. OK. Uh, thanks. Hey, this was a short one. And the camera went off. Perfect timing. <laughs> OK, so thanks for watching this one. And uh, after this video, uh, you have now re I have now reached the point, I think. Oh, so let me say a couple things. Um, there's more to regular expressions than what I've covered in this sort of introduction. I think four videos so far of kind of going through position, meta characters, single character, quantifiers, character classes, alternation, capturing groups, back reference, et cetera. There's more. There's something called look ahead and look behind. There's probably more meta characters that I missed. There's a lot of nuance. It's different in different programming languages. I can't get to everything here. I'm sure I've missed stuff. I'll come back, maybe do more. But I want to move now to actually looking at how you execute regular expressions in the JavaScript programming language itself with the functions test, search, match, exec, split, replace, and then do some uh, um, a coding challenge around regular expressions. So in the next videos, you'll start to see regular expressions in JavaScript itself.